And welcome back to 23 ABC. With the Omicron variant on the minds of many, especially during the holidays, there's a renewed focus on testing for COVID. As of now, PCR tests or the nasal swabs are considered the gold standard in accurately detecting whether someone has COVID. But as Maya Rodriguez found out, there's a new test under development where all you would need to do for it is breathe. The science unfolding inside this lab is breathtaking. We are starting to get into human breath analysis and we are starting to look at what kind of diagnostics could we get from that and then COVID came. Dr. Robin Couch is a professor of biochemistry at George Mason University in Virginia. Along with Dr. Allison Daly, they developed a potentially new way to detect COVID in someone who is infected. And all it takes is breathing into this bag. And we're able now to differentiate between those who have been confirmed COVID positive from those who are COVID negative. And so it's been a pretty exciting time for us. With help from Centera Northern Virginia Medical Center, a nearby hospital, they collected samples of patients' breath to see if they could detect whether or not someone had COVID. And you're just kind of blowing um, into an airtight bag. And so our nurses were trained to do that um, at Centera as part of the study. Centera's Heather Casso says nurses there also administered FDA-approved nasal swab tests for later comparison. This is just another alternative, and it's not an invasive test to do. It's quick. Um, it takes about two minutes to blow up our bags. It's just like blowing up a balloon and the results we found that from the exhale we could actually tell the difference between patients that do not have COVID from those that did with an accuracy they say of 100 percent while it's not FDA approved yet researchers are now looking into whether this type of breath analysis could be used to detect other diseases like lung cancer others have done diseases even such as schizophrenia you can actually and Parkinson's disease even have been uh, implicated in scent profiles so really, a lot of surprising disease, diseases you might not have thought of can actually be detected using breath or exhale. They're now working on this full body patent pending device where much more of a person's scent could be captured for a wider analysis of diseases. Even uh, growing up in the era of CSI and things like that, you're always excited about coming in and trying to figure something out and learn new techniques. We're able to try to push the science forward and we're able to find new ways and new creative ways then to help people in the end. A potentially powerful tool that may be just a breath away. In Manassas, Virginia, I'm Maya Rodriguez.